Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here starting off our brand new F1 2021 last question mark series. Obviously the first few videos are of course on F1 2020. I am trying to work behind the scenes on getting the F1 2021 mod sorted out ready for the next video from this series. Obviously unfortunately we probably won't be able to do anything on the F1 games obviously with the next couple of tracks not being in the titles but hopefully when we return ready for the Spanish Grand Prix in a few weeks time obviously I'll have that mod all ready to go for you guys but yeah i thought today obviously lewis hamilton has won the last two bahrain grand prix obviously sakir technically its own race as well doesn't count towards that statistic and of course obviously the reigning world champion as well uh had, had some struggles in pre-season testing obviously this is being recorded uh before any sessions for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Obviously very, very looking forward to the Grand Prix this weekend. But yeah, hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy this video. And uh, nonetheless, it was genuinely insane uh, just how much action went on in a 25% race. Obviously, like I said, we'll be trying to do some more of these in the near future. Let me know who you guys would like me to do the last of first for the Spanish Grand Prix. I'll be honest, I've already got an idea. I think you guys can probably guess who we're going to be rolling with as well. But yeah, a massive thank you for the continued support on the channel over the last couple of weeks obviously we've been trying some different content out at the moment as well so yeah it's really nice to obviously see you guys sort of enjoying and engaging with some different style videos as well then you can see your grid though for this one max verstappen is on pole there four tenths clear ahead of valtteri bottas there daniel ricardo and sergio perez have an absolute world is in third and fourth there ahead of charlotte Leclerc and vettel alban and sykes uh stroll and pierre gasly Rounding out your top 10 there. Then you've got Esteban Ocon, Danny Kvyat, Lando, Norris, and Torrid there in 13th. Had a Grosjean, Magnussen, Raikkonen, George Russell, Giovinazzi, Latifi, and then of course myself, Lewis Hamilton, starting from the rear of the field. But yeah, let's dive in then, ready for the Bahrain Grand Prix last to first challenge. So, ready on the grid then here for the last to first challenge to kick off the 2021 F1 season. Lewis Hamilton at the back of the grid. Clearly, Mercedes, those struggles we saw in pre season testing. Have carried over into qualifying here today. We're going to go for the alternate strategy though here around the Sakir International Circuit. Medium to soft, I would have thought if Hamilton was in this position on Sunday, he would probably do the same as well there. But hopefully we can keep it clean and tidy off the start. Get down into turn one in one piece. We've got Latifi and Giovinazzi just in front of us waiting on those five red lights. And it is going to be lights out and away we go for the F1 2021 season then. Off to a pretty poor start to be honest as we head down in towards turn one. But obviously everyone's probably going to Constantina up in towards the first corner. We'll try and look around the outside of a couple of cars if possible there. Don't obviously want to pick up any damage at the start of the Grand Prix. There's a lot of cars there getting caught on the outside. That was both Alpha Towers getting stuck. Behind Lando Norris there in the McLaren as we head down in towards the second sector. As Gas is actually going to go back up the inside of Lando Norris in through turn four there at the top of the hill. Then we've still got the other Avtaria, Danny Kvyat, at the inside obviously no longer with an F1 seat here in 2021. But hopefully, you know, we should have a lot of pace over the guys around us as all Kvyat tries to stick the nose back at the inside. Obviously he had a couple of controversial crashes in the 2020 barring Grand Prix. Neither of them his fault. I have to admit as well there. But hopefully now, as we head out onto the back straightaway, we can try and break away from the Alphatari behind us there. Lando Norris has definitely got front wing damage here. You can see on the right-hand side there, Lando really, really struggling as we head down in towards Sector 3. So we're going to be able to go clean around the outside of him. Heading down in towards the final corners, though, of lap 1. I've noticed it's actually one of the Force Indias that is leading the way here. So a brilliant start. I'm going to guess that's Perez. Up into the lead of the Grand Prix there as we head out of the final corner. So Perez, he did the last to first in the Sakir Grand Prix last year. It looks like he just wants to win the Bahrain Grand Prix outright this time around. We've got a huge amount of overspeed on the likes of Gasly and George Russell as we head back down in towards the first corner of lap two there. George Russell's had a world leave a start all the way up into P12. But we'll have the inside for turn two. A little bit of oversteer on the exit. And we are now up into P12 of the Grand Prix. So a great little start. To this Grand Prix, exactly what I'm sure Hamilton would have wanted here in Sakir. But can, yeah, we go on and try and make it three wins in a row in the Bahrain Grand Prix. Heading towards the end of lap two, though, all over the back of Kevin Magnussen here, who sat just outside of the points. I must admit, it's a bit weird. Obviously, going from all the My Team and McLaren RTG career mode stuff, seeing the Haas car actually near the points again is a bit weird. But Magnussen going to go defensive on us towards turn one. Nowhere near defensive enough, I think he realised very quickly. It was a battle not worth getting involved in there. And we do slide ourselves up into P11 then of the Grand Prix. But again, we're playing the long game here. 
the car, the car on the track should favour us in the second half of this race. But I mean, we've got four cars from four different teams at your front four at the moment. Things looking very, very good though for Perez, who still leads the way. I forgot as well just how bad Bahrain tends to be for ERS, especially obviously in a car without all the upgrades on it as well there. As we head out in the final corner of lap three, we haven't really got much left in the tank already for the battery, so we're probably going to struggle to get a run on Sykes back down in towards turn one. Yeah, not quite close enough to go for anything on the McLaren, man. As we head back through the first couple of corners, all Sykes just gets a huge chunk of wheel spin there. Big kick of oversteer on the exit. Off the first corner as well, and he is under a bit of pressure from us. He is going to go defensive as we head up in towards turn four, right around the outside. And a Lando Norris esque move there. And have we been able to hook it up right around the outside? Yes, we have. Around the outside of Carlos Sainz as we head down in towards the S's there of sector two. And that's a beautiful little move to get ourselves up into the points with still 10 to go. Bottas has now also got himself up into the lead of the Grand Prix. So our teammate Valtteri Bottas looking comfortable now at the front of the field. I'm sure he just wants to try and romp away from Sergio Perez behind him there and hope that Verstappen can't get any sort of run. Obviously Verstappen was fastest in qualifying. Was looking incredibly quick so far this weekend but just race pace. It just hasn't quite gone his way yet but it is still early days. All over the back of the young Canadian Lance Stroll here as we head down in towards the final couple of turns of lap 5. Oh a big lock up from Stroll there. Hopefully now he should be vulnerable on the exit of the corner. Not quite seeing anyone pit just yet in this Grand Prix. So we're going to try and use a bit of overtake mode. Let's just try and stick with him down towards someone. The Ferrari's up in front, duking it out in towards the first corner there. But Stroll's going to go defensive. He's actually going to have a look up the inside of Esteban Ocon. So a brave little move from Lance Stroll there. They're going to go side by side on the exit of the corner. Can we capitalise on this as well? And maybe have a look around the outside of Esteban Ocon as we head back up in towards turn four here. We're not really going to have much space to operate in as Stroll locks up again. Ocon, though, gets pinched on the inside and we move ourselves up in ninth. So Ocon and losing two places, Stroll and I both making games. Oh, there we go, Boss has into the pits at the end of lap six. So we are going to see a lot of cars driving in there. Stroll and Leclerc both pitting in as well. So Vettel is going to now move himself up into P4 of the Grand Prix. But these next couple of laps are probably quite critical. In fact, we'll probably dive it in at the end of this one if these guys are able to go half a race on the softs as well. So yeah, we're hopefully, this will be now, like I said, where the race should come back in our favour a bit more. If, of course, these softs can work. We've got yellow flags. Oh, that's one of the Renaults. It's Daniel Ricciardo falling to the wayside here in the Sakir Grand Prix. And Vettel actually goes into the back of him. So controversial contact there as Ricciardo needs to get off the road. And Sebastian Vettel now with some front wing damage in this Grand Prix as well. Then not what Sebastian needed as we head down in towards the end of Sector 2. We'll slot ourselves up the inside. We actually get an illegal overtake for that one. I forgot, obviously, about the yellow flag. So I thought we would have got Ricciardo out of the way. So Vettel, oh we got a safety car, so this is really going to help us out then, obviously all of us that haven't pit yet are going to make huge gains in this situation there and that has been massive in this Grand Prix, of course now the team is saying we come into the pits at the end of this lap there, but yeah safety car has been deployed in the Bahrain Grand Prix and this might have just been a huge lifeline for ourselves because we're obviously going to be on quicker rubber to the end of the Grand Prix. Where are we going to be able to come out, though, in this race as Seb dives into the pit lane as well? Of course, I think everyone that has a pit already is going to be into the pits here. But yeah, hopefully we have gained a couple of spots then over the course of the window. We need to stay ahead of the Alpha Tauri. 2.9, that's okay. Obviously, we'll get the jump on Sebastian as well. Or obviously, Bottas is going to fly back past us as we head down towards Turn 1. He's still probably our biggest threat here in this Grand Prix. I think Albon. Is that Albon? No, Albon's still in fourth. Verstappen has re-inherited the lead of the Grand Prix after obviously losing all those spots at the start of the race. But we are going to come back out in P5 of the Bahrain Grand Prix. This has worked out beautifully for us. So getting ready then to start lap 10 of the Bahrain Grand Prix. The safety car is going to be coming in at the end of this lap. I'm sure Jeff's going to give us all the spiel in the background as well. But we have got two Red Bulls, a Mercedes and a Racing Point to try and get past if we want to try and win at this Grand Prix. I'm sure Verstappen is probably going to bolt out of the final corner. We need to be ready to go as soon as possible. We tried to get the jump on Albon, but we completely guessed it wrong in the end there. And look at the top end speed, though. We use the overtake straight away as well as the rich reds and the Red Bull. Has just got nothing top end speed there. Despite not getting as good a getaway as Albon, though, he's going to go late on the brakes. He actually runs into the back of Bottas there. 
So almost contact between myself and Albon as well as we've got yellow flags out as we head back out at the first couple of corners there. It seems to go away once more, but Bottas now on the defensive from Alexander Albon there, who didn't seem to have the best restart, and then suddenly has found all the pace once again, parks the bus at the top of the hill though through turn four, as we haven't been able to make any forward momentum off the restart that I wanted to, but now this seems to be where we see the extra grip of the soft tyres coming to its own at the moment. Obviously, we've got to try and get them up to temperature still. But the softs will still be clear, of course, of the mediums for at least a few laps in this Grand Prix. As Albon still just sat in front of us. More yellow flags out. Someone got issues? I think one of the Haas cars is going slowly, but we do not care at the moment. We're going to have a look around the outside of Alexander Albon as we head towards the end of the back straight. We just about get away. Oh, contact again! As Albon actually runs into the side of me on the exit of the corner there. Somehow we get away with that one. It is one of the Haas cars dropping to the wayside. I think that is Magnussen dropping out of this Bahrain Grand Prix there. So heartbreak for the young Dane. No, it's actually yeah, Roman Grosjean. As we've got another safety car. With just four to go here. Two safety cars in a 25% race. That is absolutely insane. But it is going to rebunch up the field. Is this one just going to be a one lapper? Who knows? Right, well here we go then, two to go from the Bahrain Grand Prix. There is definitely no chance of another safety car, irrespective of what happens between now and the end of the Grand Prix, but it is still Verstappen who leads the way, ready for this restart, but we are feeling feisty still as we try and get the jump on our teammate Bottas down in towards Turn 1, and again there, the AI seem a bit reluctant to use their overtake mode, Verstappen going defensive on Sergio Perez. It's like NASCAR as we head back down in towards Turn 1 there, side by side through the first corner, but we do get clean around the outside of our teammate Valtteri Bottas. We've got more yellow flags out behind. Once again, there is everyone just constantine us back up in towards the first corner, but we've got plenty of spare fuel, plenty of overtake modes as well to use between now and the end of the Grand Prix, but we have still got uh, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez to try and navigate if we want to complete this last to first here. We probably need to be past Perez by the end of this lap if we want any chance of having a go at Maxi Boy there, because obviously no DRS between now and the end of the Grand Prix is going to make things very, very difficult to try and get a run from particularly far back now. I think the racing point might actually be a bit more difficult to try and overtake than at Max Verstappen there, who's romped away off this restart. He's built about one and a half second margin. He knows this is a golden opportunity to walk away with a race victory early on in the World Championship here as we head back up the hill in towards Sector 3. This is going to be where Perez is a little bit weaker through the twisty bits here. We try and open up the track width as best as possible here. Can we get a good run? We have got a really good run in towards the final couple of corners of lap 13 here. So one to go from the Bahrain Grand Prix as we slot back over to the racing line. We're now up to P2 once again here. And now we've just got one man in our sights that separates us from the race victory here. And it is, of course, Max Verstappen. The gap now back under one second as we head down in towards the first corner. But getting to him is one thing. Trying to get a move past him is a very, very different question there as we cannot afford to make any mistakes on the final lap of this Grand Prix here. Heading back up the hill, we're going to have to make sure we use as much of the overtake mode as we possibly can. We're leaving the car in rich revs to the end of the Grand Prix just because we've got so much spare fuel in it. But trying to manage the wheel spin as well might be a little bit difficult. Purple through the first section though, as you can see, through the twisty bits. Despite Red Bull's normal aerodynamic advantage, we are still gaining absolutely loads there. As you can see, Verstappen kicks out the rear end out of the next couple of corners here. Down in towards the tricky turn 9, turn 10 complex off the lap. Can we get it stopped in time? Yes, we can. As you can still see, Verstappen not confident with the rear end of that Red Bull here. We might get one opportunity as we head back in towards the final sector of this Grand Prix. It's been an incredible race despite the short race length. But what are we going to be able to do in towards the final turns there? Verstappen again massively kicks out the back end as we head down in towards the final sector of the lap. Can we get a good run out in towards the final corner there? Look at that. We've got a huge run on Max Verstappen to the outside in towards the final corner. Who's going to be able to come out on top in this situation there? Verstappen holds it on the inside. We try and get a run around the outside. We're going to use all of our overtake mode around the outside through the final corner. We win the Bahrain Grand Prix. Fantastic drive. Just fantastic. You deserve that race win. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. 
Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. I could see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Here we go then, guys, the end of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And I think, to be honest, if we get a race with that much drama in on Sunday, we're in for a treat. 91 thousandths of a second between Verstappen and myself at the finish line there. Not the closest finish to a Grand Prix I've had on F1 2020, but a move around the outside in the final corner is certainly one that has made this race incredibly memorable nonetheless. There, Perez comes through for P3. What should, could, should have been three podiums in a row around the Bahrain Grand Prix. Obviously, if you guys remember the engine failure he faced in the 2020 race there, obviously winning Sakir just one week later. It was certainly a good redemption arc, nonetheless there. Bottas in fourth ahead of Albon, Charles Leclerc, Stroll, Vettel, Sainz and Ocon rounding out your top ten there as well. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do make sure you leave a like. Get yourself subscribed as well. We've got plenty more F1 2020 content coming. Obviously, like I said at the start, we are working behind the scenes on an F1 2021 mod videos in the very near future as well. But yeah, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Do make sure you leave a like. Get yourself subscribed as well if you did enjoy this one. And yeah, we will be back very, very soon with more Formula One action. A big thank you to our channel members for making these videos possible. You can be featured in these end clips as well as granted access to some other exclusive perks for just £1 a month by clicking the join button below.